Um, oh, the very weak one. On the the one. very weak one on number two. The number one's not doing nothing. Well. Welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Hi, guys. Have we got a story for mm. you? We're a little bit quiet because um, there's a sleeping baby. <laughs> We're making the most of it. We're making the most of it, yeah. Um, so we brought you here today to tell you about what's been going on with the Volvo. Things. Yes. 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 So there's been highs and lows. Definitely been highs and lows. Uh, you may remember we left it with the engine <clears> not starting. Yeah. Um, it baffled us for a long time. So uh, let's tell you what the engine is. It's a carburetor B230. 30. It's a B230A. It's got a Peerberg 175CD carburetor on it. And it has ignition, it has nothing else. It has no crank sensors. No. It has no injection. No. It has no, it has no electrical gubbins apart from the ignition. Apart from the ignition, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's as simple as it gets, really. Yeah. And it was, it drove into the workshop. Um, yeah. Some of you may remember the episode where we were driving it into the booth to get painted and we ran it out of petrol. Yeah, somebody did mention <laughs> because that. Because yeah. um, <laughs> we'd taken the fuel tank off and we were driving it and it was yeah. just running on what was left in the, so in the tube and it just went clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, we jury-rigged up a, a temporary fuel bottle in the engine bay, didn't we? Yeah. We, do you know what? We couldn't believe how much fuel it was using, on actually. Choke, on choke, just yeah. straight in. That was half a litre, wasn't it? Yeah. In like a couple of minutes. It was crazy. Wow, so, yeah, turn your chokes off. <laughs> <laughs> Save save your fuel. But it was running fine. It was it was happy as Larry. It, it's it's such a sweet running car. Yeah. It's done what 140,000, 50, 150,000 yeah. miles, and it runs sweet as a nut. Mm, it really been does. Very well maintained. Yeah. You know the the um, history file is like that. It's so good. Um, but mechanically, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, and I painted the engine bay um, very quickly. I didn't do a, like a a nice job we usually do i just wanted it gray so i we bought a couple of rattle cans mm. of this color pulled stuff off the side walls and i, I literally just <laughs> went down with the rattle can the reason being Minimal because masking. it is a stop gap we are gonna yeah, going ripping to be ripping the engine out yeah. and refurbing everything in there so. yeah massively massively but lewis here could not drive around with a mismatched color engine bay no it would look horrendous <laughs> so and it did look horrendous so it's we much tidied nicer, it up a yeah, bit tidied, yeah. a little bit after doing that it didn't run would it just not didn't, start. just would not start for love nor money. No, and we did everything as you do. Check right. the spark. That's, that's so we went for spark. It, yep. Check the spark. It had an okay spark. Yeah. So we wanted to upgrade that. The the coil was old. I don't recommend adding another coil to that. <laughs> What do you mean? Is more's not better? Three coils, you know. We ripped it all out, we replaced it. We ripped it all out. Yeah. New coil, new new Jesus yeah. Jesus yeah. everything. Spark plugs. The whole shebang. The whole lot. Um, and we had a slightly better spark. Yeah. But it was a it was a spark enough to fire up a car. I have to say though, we didn't change the dizzy body, we just changed the cap and rotor arm and yes, everything. Yes. Because the dizzy is stuck in the block. That's right. So there's no there yeah. was no chance of us getting the timing wrong because, it because move. nothing yeah. moved from it from when it drove in to then and we also checked to see if we had a snapped um top top gear on the timing yeah. just to see if it had um the top which just wasn't rotating it was all rotating perfectly fine um we also checked compression we have a lovely and healthy 165 psi it's spot on but we were getting fuel in the oil. It was getting past the range, mm. wasn't it? We, we changed the oil twice. Yeah. Because uh, we thought we were stripping the bores and... We had to put a bit of oil back in the it, cylinders yeah. at the top to make sure it was... So we did two oil changes. Yeah. We, we changed up the ignition system. It's a tight fit, babes. It's a tight fit. It's a no fit. We changed our um, new battery. We, we might relocate the battery to somewhere else. The boot. What do you reckon? Relocate it to the junkyard. Because <laughs> yeah. we were like, oh, maybe the battery. Battery was a bit. Dark. It was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you remember us testing it with our battery tester. It said it yeah. wasn't the best, so we swapped that out for a brand new battery. Nice Bosch one. Loads of power. In Loads that. of power in that one. Um, we refurbed the stuff inside the carb. St. Patrick's Day today. It is St. Patrick's Day today. Kiss the Blarney Storm. <laughs> That was bad, wasn't it? Oh, that was bad. 
bad. Your mum's going to kill me. Yeah. New diaphragm and... There was a hole in the diaphragm, got, yeah. so we got a new diaphragm in. Um, and the carb, it was also a bit dry of oil. We, we did put um, ATF yeah, fluid, fluid in it. That's a little bit too thick, in See, my I, opinion. I always put three in one in the So in the we MG. put three in one. Oh, the SU carb. Check that out. We put three in one, and yeah. the, the little piston thing's moving a lot nicer. Yeah. Hateful carburetor. It's a hateful setup. It's yeah. choking the life out of this engine. Lewis was nearly ripping it out and chucking yeah. it in the bin, weren't you? But we're not going to go down that route. Not yet. Not yet. Um, so we changed all of that and we had fuel. There was plenty of fuel. We, <laughs> we even put a new fuel pump on it and same at Cambrian Classics, he thought that it wasn't, wasn't putting out enough. as much fuel as the original one, so, so we put we the old one back on. Um, and at this point, from, from the last episode, we had, we had a nice barbecue with Ian and Carly and Tim and, and, Tim, Claire. Tim and Claire around nice barbecue just to spot a lunch with yeah, them. Yeah, I was pulled the barbecue and out of the stores and I said, come on, we'll fuck it yeah. up, we'll have, a, we'll have a workshop lunch. And they all decided that it would be a nice idea if we tried to get the Volvo going. We have guests, Tim for good luck and Ian for bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we even out. Mm. We all failed again. We spent Three the rest later. of the day <laughs> swimming in the smell of petrol fumes. It was ridiculous, and, um, wasn't it? We just could not Tim get it to cough. Tim was pulling his hair out. He, he'd left, he, he was getting a bit worked up. He'd left in a bit of a... He took Wah. the Haynes manual with him. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Go in with this. <laughs> but um, it wouldn't even start on easy start. No. And it's like, you've got a spark there. You should cough at least on easy yeah, start. Yeah, so at, at this point, we have spark, we have timing, we have ignition, mm -hmm. we have compression, we have spark at the right time. Everything was there, the but it just, it just wouldn't go. Even no. on easy start, it just wouldn't go. And then at this point, we just went, oh, man, we ain't got time to deal with this. I've got real work to yeah. be getting on with. Uh, and so and we, we needed a block of time to sit down and to methodically go through everything again. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of put it off for a bit. We did a couple of videos with doing the head unit and, you know, yeah, other things. Just to, well, just so we can think about what's going on in yeah. the engine bay. And I had uh, another friend come over. And he said, impossible, impossible. Yeah. Impossible He said, start. that engine will start. We'll get it going today, boy. Yeah. And he came down <laughs> and we spent another three hours. He said, have you done this? I said, yeah. Well, let's do it again anyway. Yeah. Have you checked this? Yeah. Have you done compression test? Yeah. So we went through the whole thing again. Still completely dead. We had, we did have a, a purr <laughs> out of it. And we even, he said, I'm just going to see if the timing is in the right order so he swapped leads around and then we was then it was firing but it was firing in the intake chamber yeah, it was like oh god that's dangerous because there's like fuel everywhere <laughs> so we put that back right so that, that was really everything weird everything was right anyway it just it was, yeah. it was crazy and he went home then afterwards saying no impossible yeah, that won't Volvo start was, it, it should start it should start it still wouldn't start he was fuming fuming he was, fuming. He was tamping yeah so we kind of left it at that and then um we said should we toast start it? We'll do, just drag it down the road. Yeah, because we had uh, yeah. a couple of people saying sometimes those things, when they the when they start being off. a problem, yeah. the only way to get them back to life again is to drag them down the road, pull them down the road, spin the engine around faster, and start it. I mean, I'd seen a few things online where the mechanical fuel pump wasn't quite fast enough to pull the airlocks out of the line and stuff. I, I don't know. I disagree. You disagree. With that. I'm not sure. I've never had a mechanical fuel pump. I, problem. My argument there is. Volvo probably didn't do that off the factory line. Big ill, push them down. To toe start them. <laughs> Here's your new car, just toe started it. But no, I don't know if you can see, move out the way, Lewis. There's the tow rope still attached. Um, mm. We dragged it around the field. We, and yeah, first we went up and down the road, didn't we? Sh yeah, we went private road. We went up and down the private road. Up and down the private road. And private. It didn't. It, it did, did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. Absolutely sweet FA. And we turned it around, came back here. I went, that was weird. Absolutely nothing. I thought that was going to do done. something. Are we going to tell them what? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so we thought, right, we'll go around around the field, isn't it? So we went around around the field a couple of times. It's just completely yeah. dead. Pushed Filled the arches full of grass and yeah. everything. Pushed it back onto ramp yeah. like that. Rolled down the yard onto the ramp. We said, we're going to check if there's fuel in the fuel filter because we put an inline clear fuel filter in. There's fuel. There's fuel. I thought, oh, it's so annoying. I'm going to see if there's still a spark. There was no spark. Not a dicky not bit, not a nothing. single spark. Completely no spark. And it was like, what? How is there no spark? There's always been a spark. So we just 
we, we pulled the, obviously the leads off, had a plug on, and then we pulled the dizzy cap off. There was no rotor there was arm. No rotor there was no rotor, rotor arm. And I'm, I'm like, like, oh my God. Where did that plastic shield come from? Because we've been in, out the, in there so often, the little plastic protective thing for all the electronic gubbins in the bottom of the dizzy was there and I, I had left it out. I put my hands up. I put that plastic shield back in the dizzy, but I didn't put the cap back on. I don't know who put the cap back on without a rotor arm. But it had dawned to us then, we were just trying to toe start it down the road with no, with no rotor It was never gonna go. In the dizzy. It was never gonna go. I was like, oh my God, we, we felt so dumb. Seriously, I was so, so, so dumb. gutted that it wasn't start. I, I figured that that was it, it was gonna start. So we put I that was, back in. Yeah. Um, back cranked in the it shed. over. Still no sparks. So that was yeah. weird. And it was also unplugged, wasn't it? The dizzy, the um, what's it called? The whole sensor thing. Yeah. Unplugged. Unplugged. I so didn't unplug that. that. I don't know if you unplugged that thing, or if it was just a mystery gremlin and you unplugged it. You well, the, the thing is, before before this happened, I was testing it to see if the ignition amplifier was working. So I took it off the side of the wall here yeah. the inner arch wall whatever that's called and unplugged it it was a bit furry so um Clean contact up. cleaner in and out a few times contact cleaner plugged it back in and thought hmm, i wonder if this actually works so i unplugged it cranked it over no spark plugged it back in cranked it over loads of spark great that works i thought it, 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 completely it, forgot about that yeah that, that was that that was that and then we both we, after all this we just sat down and we said listen we have to do this properly again yeah, so we, from the beginning so we started again from the we took the carb off we cleaned no, up no 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 we did another pulse oh we, we did, did another, another toe start yeah, we yeah did sorry another toe start i forgot about here. that bit and it went vroom yeah it went we, vroom we and had it a vroom it vroomed for a bit and then died um and it was and it didn't come back to life again and yeah. it was like wow that was but it ran for a little and bit it ran for a yeah. bit enough to get some heat into some of it like it got warm yeah so that was, but it wouldn't go again after that. But we, we got some hopes up then. We got some, we, a little yeah. bit perky then. Like, yeah. mm, it's not dead, it's not, not dead. completely dead. So but, we put it back here again yeah. into the workshop and I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, we forgot to connect up the throttle cable. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we, we felt like such a bunch of amateurs because we're, we're stressing so much about having this car done. Yeah. We're forgetting to check the simple what have things. I got? Two weeks left. Uh, and the funny thing is, when I was in the car with Lewis, I said to him, I said, the throttle doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. And you went, nah, it's all right. Yeah. It wasn't bloody connected to anything. It was just no. floating in midair. Yeah, doing nothing. So I said, that's it. I said, we're going back to square one. We're Check starting through everything. checking through everything. Rip the carb off. Yeah. Let's get this diaphragm on. All these things sound very um, diaphragm. Diaphragm. Coil. They're very contraceptive sounding, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Listen, just, just you, just you fix that, you. Screwing. Fuel bowl, take Check that out, clear everything. that out, and we put it all back together, rebuilt it. Um, reset the, the fuel mix ratio to factory. It's factory, yeah, baseline. Um, and then, right, that's it. Let's go for it again. Charge Another, the battery. Crank on the ignition. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing completely dead. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Let's, let's pull it around the field again. So pulling it around the field and it's not really doing it. I thought, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to do it in first. first. I'm going to yeah. pop it in first and spin the engine over really fast. And that's and when it, we found out the locker diff was working beautifully. Yeah, lock, right, we're back. That was weird. Camera, Camera just, just um, had a healthy fit. Yeah. fit. Locker diff. Locker diff worked perfectly. Works great. We're sliding around. Whee. <laughs> anyway, when it got some grip, um, popped it in first, and popped it, it in, popped it in first, started. and spun that engine over nice and fast, and she fired, and we got it to run and rev, and it got hot, and the temperature gauge came right up. She ran beautifully, and it runs a yeah. treat. So, again, to show everything was correct, the timing was correct, yeah. the fuel mix ratio might not be so correct. Now, it needs tuning. It needs definitely tuning. needs tuning anyway. But everything was where it was supposed to be. It Wonderful. It was. It was. But then it was. It was running. It was running for five minutes. Oh, a hold bit, on. Maybe insert footage here. And here's the Volvo. And it's only bloody running. It's alive. I dared let it. 
let the revs drop though. No, don't let the revs drop. Have we got any rev counters going? No. Okay, so the rev counter's not working, but the engine is running. We're just gonna let it heat up now, try and get some... So try and get, let's have a look what's going on. We'll have a look what's going on, but we're running! We're running! Then it died. Yeah, I was sat in it, taking over. Rum, 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 rum. All the lights came on and it just went... Plinky I was like, dead. oh, well that definitely broke something, I thought. Yeah. I think that's broken the thing that has been plaguing us this it's whole completely time. Kaput now. And as all the lights came up, I thought it's definitely electrical. And I mm. thought, oh, I wonder if it was the ignition amplifier that died. So we lift the bonnet and we run and have a look. And uh, somebody hadn't put the ignition amplifier back onto its heat sink. No, and do you know what ignition amplifiers do when they're running? They get really hot. They get really hot. It kind of melted itself into two bits. But I am so glad it did melt itself into two it bits. it was trashed. We it put was... a brand new one on for like 30 quid, less than 30 quid. Yeah. Right the next day, um, put it on and now it starts there. It was Runs a bit rough, but it's it fires ready. up. It's ready right to there. tune. But Turn the thing over, is... It's, it's instant as well. Inside the old ignition amplifier, there was one pin that was yeah. not attached. But it runs like a pile of junk. And I was wondering if you wouldn't be so kind as to tune it up for us. And maybe it was just bridging when we... They're, they're very delicate little yeah. buggers anyway. So I... And it all rings true right back to when I painted the engine bay. I pulled that off the bulkhead yeah. and I think that little disturbance it had was enough just, was enough to, just to piss it off yeah, enough to... Not want to start yeah. next time properly. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. The Volvo is starting. It starts on the she key. Runs. She runs. Yeah. She's alive. That we are is, there. We're, we're, so, we're so happy with that. I mean, it's, it was getting to the point where... It's a red block. It should be like one of the most indestructible, reliable things on it, the road. It should run on nothing. Yeah. But you can't... Uh, uh, the one electronical thing on this car is that yeah. spark amplifier, and that was the thing that was bloody broken. Yeah. And we, should, uh, and we changed out everything else. Why didn't we just buy a new one of them as well? I know we were just throwing money at it. Yeah. We should have just bloody bought a new one of those as yeah. well. Anyway... Learn from our mistakes. If you've got a carb engine and it won't start, change the ignition amplifier. Yeah, straight away. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, one person did diagnose it correctly. That was Mr. Wynn Thomas from down the road who did come and help me and pull his hair out and said, it's impossible, that doesn't start. Can we just put he it on the said, record? Wynn, you were right. You were right. You were right you were all right. along. <laughs> who knew? Plumbers know stuff. <laughs> Oh my God. No, he, he, was, he was bang on the money. He, yeah. he looked at it and he said, what's this here, boy? <laughs> and I said, I think that's some kind of ignition amplifier. And he goes, oh, normally on transit vans, if it's not starting, it's that. And in the back of my head, a little voice said, it's not a f***ing transit van. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Volvo. <laughs> it's a Volvo. It's a Volvo. <laughs> um, no, he was bang on it. Well done. Well done, Wayne. Well Ten done, Wayne. internet yes. points for you. But that's where we are now. The car is running. It needs tuning. It needs tuning. We need to um, finish up a few things. I'm halfway through restoring the split rims. Oh, they're looking good. Um, they're looking they're look good. really nice. I'm really excited that. Just went to my friend Spencer yesterday to get them aluminium. Little dinks in the, in the edge of the room, just yeah. welded up. We want them spot. On. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to be beautiful. So um, Lewis is working on that. We have just got to sort the headlights out, the yeah, indicators, yeah. and do the MOT checklist. Really, MOT checklist, um, and <laughs> put put some window wipers on it. <laughs> um, Excuse me. <laughs> Are you quite finished? I've finished now, yeah. It's always three. <laughs> no, it's not always three. Get over. Um, I've got a bit of work to do on the front here. Uh, yeah. I, I've got to cut this lip off uh, and smooth this out a bit, repaint that, so I can put our stick-on trim over yeah. it. Um, put the but grill back in. It's so close. In. It is so close now. I mean... We are we are going to take it to the air ambulance run our Barrera on, on the twenty so fourth. So bad. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sort out the um, tax and insurance and and book an MOT and hopefully that will give us the motivation yeah. we need to. Yeah, it also needs a week of running 
back and forth. Shake, yeah. Shakedown runs. Because um, so you know how long it's been since it's come in? Two years. Two years. Our two-week two project the other day. The other day, what was it, Thursday, yeah. I had the memory come up on my phone of us putting the rear quarter patches <laughs> in was it, two years ago. Two was years. Like, Man. But doesn't time fly when you're having fun, eh? Hey? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we I don't have. know. We've maybe not the been next. On it solidly, have we? We've we, been doing loads of other stuff as we well. We have been I doing mean, lots of other stuff. Yeah. But I think maybe the next time you see this car, it will be finished. What do you think? Potentially, yes. No, no. I tell a lie. Wheel episode, and then the big finish. There's a, wheel, a really important wheel episode. Yeah. Um, got some amazing sponsors. For yeah. That oh, oh my God. Wait God. till you see that video. It's gonna be so good. Oh my God. So yeah, we'll see you for the wheel episode, and then we'll see you for the for the big reveal. Yeah. How does that sound? Oof. A finished project, babes. Finished project. Finished project. Can't wait. Can't wait. But. Project is never really finished, is it? No, it is never really it's finished. It's never really finished. Season two is going to be about how much power we can get out of that red block mm. without turboing it. Um, so we've got a set of twin Dell autos. We're going to yeah. put a sports exhaust on it. We're going to track a cam down. We're going to track and... a cam down. We're going to um, port and polish the head and send it to a rolling road where they know what they're doing with these kind of engines. Tune it. Tune it. Tune in to that. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's going to be a, a next a whole series, yeah. a whole series of. That's the plan. Because that that car, but this car's one hundred and eight horsepower apparently. When you less than when that you, now, yeah. less so it's like five that, yeah. at the minute. Um, with these Del Autos on it, it nearly doubles the horsepower. Just from the car. Just, Just from, from the that's car. how bad that that Strongberg Peterberg carb is. Strongberg. <laughs> Peterberg. 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 Yeah, not Peterberg. Peterberg. Strongberg. Is that a beer? That's the that's the other version of it. Yeah. The equally crap carb. Don't have them. <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> right then, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It would really help us out if you could click like as well yes, and maybe definitely. share the video. Please do. Yep. Yeah, um, we shall see you soon. Merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ciao. Bye.